Hi everyone, I'm Sefida Maliki and today I want to talk about our work in progress hypergraph partitioning via geometric embeddings. This is a work done by uh, Udit Agarwal and Keshav Pingali from the University of Texas at Austin. So what is a hypergraph? A hypergraph is a generalization of graph where each edge can connect more than two nodes. For example, on the figure on the right, the red edge uh, can connect A, C, and E. So in this talk, we're interested in hypergraph partitioning. So hypergraph partitioning is given a number k. We want to partition our hypergraph into k blocks where each node only appears in one of the blocks. And we also want to make sure that all blocks follow um, the balance constraint. The goal of partitioning is to minimize or maximize a particular objective function. And here the objective function that we are interested in is to minimize the total cut or the number of edges that connects different partition. There are many applications to hypergraph partitioning, but the one that motivated us appears in EDA flow. Hypergraph partitioning appears in multiple places in EDA flow from logic synthesis to flow placement. And there exist many approaches to hypergraph partitioning. We have topology-based methods where we use the node connectivity, um, or we can use geometry-based methods where uh, nodes in, the, in this method are points in RD. So our contribution in this paper is that we use machine learning to learn geometry from topology of the graph. Basically, we want to transform the nodes of our hypergraph into vector space, and we call this process embedding. Uh, we use the geometry to enhance our previous uh, hypergraph partitioner uh, by part, which is the hi hierarchical hypergraph partitioner. Hierarchical hypergraph partitioning consists of three uh, phases, coarsening, initial partitioning, and refinement or uncoarsening phases. And we use this um, uh, geometry uh, information to uh, improve the quality of this partitioner. And finally, we provide a general approach to exploit geometric information in hierarchical partitioners. This slide summarizes our uh, work on how to use machine learning to um, map these uh, nodes of the hypergraph into uh, vector spaces. Basically, uh, what we do is that we start from a hypergraph. We do a random walk on our hypergraph to gather the samples. Once we have the samples, we run a uh, skip gram neural network to transform these nodes of the hypergraph into vector space. Once again, the hope here is that uh, the nodes that are neighbors in the hypergraph will end up being closer in space in our vector space. Once we uh, find these embeddings, we can use this extra information to enhance different phases in our hypergraph partitioning model. So um, more specifically, we can use these embeddings to uh, in um, each phases of uh, multi-level hypergraph partitioning. For example, in the coarsening phase, we can use these embeddings to find a node matching and further merge nodes that are more similar to each other in order to uh, coarsen the hypergraph. In the second phase, in the initial partitioning, we can use this embedding uh, to do a geometric based partitioning such as spectral partitioning. And finally, in the refinement phase, we use the embedding to uh, refine our partitions. And more specifically, we use these embeddings to swap nodes in partitions uh, and, uh, and we prioritizing the nodes that are further away from the centrality of these partitions uh, compared to the other partitions. Here, I show some results by adding uh, the extra embedding information to our previous work, which was a topology-based multi-level hypergraph partitioner. On the left, we have hypergraphs. Uh, we have five hypergraphs. And on the right, uh, I compare the quality of, of this hypergraph uh, before uh, and after we use extra embedding information. And as you can see, in almost all hypergraphs except one, the quality has improved. So in this talk, I uh, give a uh, topology infer, infer uh, geometry using machine learning. We use geometry to enhance topology called base hypergraph partitioning scheme. And if the geometry of the circuit is available, we can use them instead of computing the embeddings. 
And uh, if you want to access the internal uh, implementation of this code, you can uh, refer to this link. Thank you.